call the first session to order. Commissioners, in your packet, you'll find your minutes uh, for your work session of January the 27th and your regular session of January 28th. You will uh, please take the time to review those minutes. If there's any additions, deletions, corrections that need to be made, please give them Ms. Duke so we'll have those made ready for uh, tomorrow evening's meeting. Agenda item number five is uh, <coughs> public hearings, 5A, case REZ 2014-01, Wheeler, corner of Morgan Road and Shiloh Road. Uh, it's a request from EA to R1. Mr. Davis. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Southwest of Hayhira, this corner of the southwest corner of Morgan Road. Ultimately, um, the request from the applicant was EA to R1. You've got the history and the recommendations in your packet. I have had um, questions about how things transpired with those recommendations because they were some split votes, approval and denials. And I just wanted to take a minute and give you some background. Try to walk you in. Mr. Wheeler met with Carmela and myself. We gave him a couple of options to consider. One was R1 because what he wanted was to subdivide the property. The other was RA, which would support the property and I thought be a little bit more consistent with the plans because I think we have to look out for that whole block, not just this property. So we gave him those options. He came back and chose R1, knowing that we preferred RA, but we gave him the options. We took that to TRC and we advertised the case for both R1 and RA to give you the option of going either direction. When we took it to TRC, we got a 3-2 vote to deny his R1 request, but alternatively to approve RA, which he anticipated. We took that to the Planning Commission. Um, no one spoke for it, no one spoke against it, but they did have a pretty good amount of discussion. And they recommended for approval of RA by a 4-1 to one vote, with Commissioner Tommy Willis being that one um, dissension, dissension vote. So, there's how the splits, that's kind of some history of how we started. I just wanted you to have some background because there were a couple zonings at stake here and I wanted you to be on with that information. So with that, I don't have any other updates uh, because those questions, I didn't want to pass that on. Do we have any questions for Mr. Davenport? I do, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Jason, <coughs> this, uh, this applicant wants to subdivide the property. I guess wants to make two lots out of it. Yes, sir. Um, RA is inconsistent with that. Correct, because of the size of the lot. The lot is 2.54. Minimum size for RA is 2.5. Is that correct? That's correct. Have you spoken to the applicant since the uh, TRC and the Planning Commission? Yes, sir. Is is the applicant agreeable to RA? He. I'll say this. I did not speak to him after the Planning Commission, <coughs> but I spoke to him before the Planning Commission, so he knew where we were coming from, and he's open to either one. I think he prefers R1 because he feels like it will be more marketable and probably more lucrative for him to sell it. But right now, he can't use this property because when he purchased it, it was done by deed and it was done illegally. So either zoning is going to give him the ability to develop, which he doesn't have now. Okay. So I think that his first preference is absolutely R1, but I think RA would also let him sell the property, which I think is, is exciting for him as well. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, we'll move on to 